Hey River Campers, Janine here with the San Antonio River Authority. Happy Earth Day! Stay tuned to learn about all the different ways that you can help the environment. Are you curious about how to help the San Antonio River but just don't know where to start? Even though we're all staying at home right now, there are plenty of things that you can do right where you are that will help our beautiful San Antonio River. This poster, which you can find on our website, shows us the many things that we can do to make a difference. Let's get started. This first picture shows us that one of the things you can do to help the San Antonio River is to use reusable bags instead of plastic bags whenever you can. When plastic bags end up in the river, wildlife often mistake them for food or even get tangled in them. I keep a few reusable bags in my car to use when I go to the store. Let's do our part to keep wildlife safe by using reusable bags. Uh-oh, it looks like the man in this picture is changing the oil on his car and is letting the oil run right into the street and into the storm drain. Here's something that might surprise you. When water flows down the street and into a storm drain, it runs down the pipes and directly into the San Antonio River. When oil gets into storm drains and into the river, it coats the gills of fish and prevents them from breathing. Instead of letting the oil drain into the street, you can put a container like this one underneath your car while you're changing the oil and let the oil drain into that. Then you can take that container into an auto parts store where they will recycle the oil for free. There's a girl walking her dog in this next picture, but what's in her hand? It looks like a bag to pick up her dog's waste. When dog waste gets into our river after it rains, it causes a spike in the levels of a harmful bacteria called E. coli. This bacteria can make us really sick and prevents us from swimming in our river. You can help by picking up your dog's waste, which keeps E. coli levels low. Here's a picture of a man washing his car in his driveway. All of the soapy water full of chemicals is running into the storm drain and directly into the river. What could he do instead? Well, he could take his car to a car wash, but what if he doesn't want to pay for a car wash? He could wash his car in the grass. The grass is a pervious surface that actually absorbs the water instead of letting it run off into the street. So the next time you wash your car, consider parking it in the grass. Next is a girl who's about to recycle her plastic water bottle. Awesome, recycling is a great way to help our environment. But what could she do that would be even better? Well, what if she used a reusable water bottle? then she wouldn't create any waste at all. So the next time you get thirsty, consider swapping your disposable water bottles for a reusable water bottle. Finally, there's a picture of a man blowing his yard clippings into the street. You already know that anything in the street will get into our storm drains and go directly to the river. Any yard clippings with fertilizers or pesticides that get into the storm drains pose a threat to the organisms that live in and along the river. What can we do instead? You can put those yard clippings right into your green organics bin. This material can be used to create compost, which is a great way to return vital nutrients to the earth. Alternatively, you can mulch those yard clippings right back into your lawn. There are plenty of actions that you can take to care for the San Antonio River. Let us know in the comments below what you're going to do to keep the river healthy. You can keep learning about how to care for the San Antonio River by visiting the San Antonio River Authority's website. Be sure to join us on our social media channels every Wednesday and Friday at 2 o'clock for more educational activities. Remember, you and I are connected to the San Antonio River, and with your help, we can keep it healthy. Keep learning, and I'll see y'all soon.